Hi, and welcome to AutoGPT Tutorials. In this video, we're going to be talking about Poison GPT. First, I will talk about what is Poison GPT, how it's work, and how to protect yourself from Poison GPT attacks. So let's start. First, what is Poison GPT? Poison GPT is a project that aims to create a method for poisoning large language models LLMs, by injecting them with malicious code. The code would then be executed when the LLM is used to generate text, which could lead to a variety of harmful outcomes, such as the spread of misinformation or the theft of personal information. The project was created by a group of researchers at the University of Washington, and it was first announced in a paper published in January 2023. The paper describes how the researchers were able to successfully poison a variety of LLMs, including GPT-3 and other LLMs. How Poison GPT Works Poison GPT works by first training a smaller language model to generate text that is similar to the output of the target LLM. This smaller model is then used to generate a sequence of tokens that encode the malicious code. These tokens are then injected into the training data of the target LLM, and the LLM is then retrained. When the retrained LLM is used to generate text, it will sometimes generate text that contains the malicious code. This code can then be executed, which could lead to a variety of harmful outcomes. Here are the steps in more detail. The attacker first trains a smaller language model to generate text that is similar to the output of the target LLM. This smaller model is called the Poisoner model. The attacker then uses the Poisoner model to generate a sequence of tokens that encode the malicious code. These tokens are called the Poison tokens. The attacker then injects the Poison tokens into the training data of the target LLM. This can be done by modifying the training data file or by using a tool that injects the tokens into the training data file. The target LLM is then retrained using the poison training data. When the retrained LLM is used to generate text, it will sometimes generate text that contains the malicious code. This code can then be executed, which could lead to a variety of harmful outcomes. However, the project does raise some important concerns about the security of LLMs. It is important for users of LLMs to be aware of the potential for these models to be poisoned and to take steps to protect themselves from attack. How to protect yourself from poison GPT attacks. Here are some of the ways to protect yourself from poison GPT attacks. Use LLMs from trusted sources. If you are using an LLM from a trusted source, such as Google or OpenAI, you are less likely to be affected by a poison GPT attack. Be careful about the data that you use to train LLMs. If you are training your own LLM, be careful about the data that you use to train it. Avoid using data that you do not trust, and be sure to scan the data for malicious code before you use it to train your LLM. Monitor the output of LLMs for signs of malicious code. If you are using an LLM to generate text, be sure to monitor the output for signs of malicious code. If you see anything suspicious, such as a link to a malicious website or a request for personal information, do not click on the link or provide the information. Keep your LLMs up to date with the latest security patches. The developers of LLMs are constantly releasing security patches to protect their models from attack. Be sure to keep your LLMs up to date with the latest security patches to help protect yourself from attack. By following these steps, you can help to protect yourself from poison GPT attacks. Here are some additional tips to help you stay safe. Be aware of the risks of using LLMs in sensitive applications. Use LLMs in a controlled environment, such as a sandbox. Monitor the output of LLMs for signs of malicious activity. Keep your software up to date. Use strong passwords and security practices. By following these tips, you can help to protect yourself from the risks of poison GPT attacks and other malicious threats. Conclusion In this video, we've talked about Poison GPT, a new project that aims to create a method for poisoning large language model LLMs, by injecting them with malicious code. We've also talked about some of the ways to protect yourself from poison GPT attacks. I hope this video has been informative. 
If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more AutoGPT tutorials. Thanks for watching.